Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Hannah. If you don't know me, and if you do, I'm sorry. So today, as you saw, we're doing a Freddy Krueger inspired makeup look. And we're starting by putting foundation on only one half of our face, making sure to entirely avoid the other side. You'll see why in a little bit. Just trust me. I'm going to be setting my foundation with Cody Airspun, but you can use any powder you choose. I just like this because it keeps it and makes it solid for me. So whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, just do it. Set that shit. I'm also going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette. <laughs> I don't know what the accent is. I'm using the really dark brown that's in the palette to fill in my eyebrows. I know it's way too dark for me, but I like the drama, so I do it anyways. I don't care what you gotta say. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. But fill in both your eyebrows. Then you just gotta gel those babies in place. You can use whatever gel you want, but I'm using this flower eyebrow gel, and I think the shade is light brown. I don't know. AB1 is what it looks like it says to me. You tell me. Just gel them in place. And then going back into the Modern Renaissance palette because it's my favorite palette in the whole world. It took me a second to decide what I want to use, but there's like a light orange and a yellow right on top of each other. We're just going to put that shit in the crease and blend it until our fingers bleed. And then using the same brush I used to fill in my eyebrows, I'm taking the dark red color and laying it down where I want it and then using a fluffier brush to blend it into the yellow-orange color we just did everywhere. I did the same exact thing but on a smaller radius with the dark brown I used to fill in my eyebrows and then blended it together and then went in again and added more red because I felt like we lost some. So just go back and forth and play with it until you get what you like. And then going in with Kat Von D's tattoo liner in the shade Trooper and we're gonna make a gigantic wing on our eyeball and it's gonna be beautiful just go real slow so you don't mess it up unless you're a professional if you're a professional girl do it as fast as you want and then just put some mascara on your eyes and you'll be done unless you want to add lashes and then you just repeat that shit on your other eye now we're gonna contour our faces. I really don't know what this accent is. We're gonna contour. The three colors that you saw side by side in the palette I was using are the shades in the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I've just taken them out and put them in a Z palette. And we're gonna contour using all three colors. And we're gonna do our cheekbones, our neck, because we don't like our double chin. We're gonna do some on our eyebrows, on our eyebrows, on our forehead. That's what I meant to say. And now we're highlighting using this pure highlighter. It's my favorite one that I own, so I use it all the freaking time. But make sure we're only highlighting and contouring on the one half of the face. We don't want to be putting any product on the side with no foundation. And now we're doing the fun stuff, and we're taking some Tinsley, I do believe is the brand, effects Transfers. And I've never used these before, so I'm super, super, super excited. Essentially, they work like a temporary tattoo, where you have to, like peel away a plastic covering and then you get it wet on your face and after a little while it will just magically be on your skin except for instead of a cute tattoo it's a disgusting gory thing and it's cool. So I cut all the things out and now we have to figure out where we want to place all the things. I like this like Y-ish shaped one for my jaw because I felt like it made sense and then we're just going to place the smaller ones in all kinds of different places all around my face. So.
then just using the same powder I used to set my foundation earlier, I am going to powder over all of these prosthetics because they're really, really, really shiny and I don't like the way it looks. So we're just going to powder it, make it more matte, and then it looks a little better. And there you got it. You got a cute ass, sexy ass Freddy Krueger makeup. You're welcome. Thanks for watching to the end of the video for one. Um, but for two, for two, I'm a mom. Look at this cute little thing. Look at her. Her name is Reptar. She's, she hates me. I made Reptar on Instagram, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'd know that, but I made her on Instagram. It is, um, Reptar underscore the underscore cat. I will put it here. And you can follow her if you want to see how cute she is all the time. 